Critics of genetically modified foods have won a victory in California by securing enough signatures to place a referendum on next November's ballot that would force food manufacturers to label products containing GMOs. Nearly one million people signed petitions, nearly double the amount needed. If California voters pass the referendum, it could affect industry labeling practices across the country. Numerous items are already sold in grocery stores containing genetically modified corn and soy, but companies do not currently have to inform consumers. We're joined here in studio by a leading supporter of the Right to Know effort, David Browner. He's president of Dr. Browner's Magic Soaps. His grandfather founded the legendary company in 1948. For decades, Browner's Magic Soaps has been staple in health food stores across the country. The company has also been involved in numerous political campaigns pushing for fair trade as well as the promotion of the hemp industry. In 2009, David Bronner was arrested for planting hemp outside the headquarters of the Drug Enforcement Administration in Washington. David Bronner, welcome to Democracy Now. Let us start with this legislation, the ballot that's going on the November, uh, the initiative that's going on the ballot uh, in November. Can't sure. Explain it. So, um, so unlike uh, every uh, citizen in Europe, um, Japan, even China, and 40 countries around the world, uh, Americans do not have the right to know if their food has been genetically engineered or not. Um, uh, genetic engineering of, of crops is generally done um, by chemical companies who have uh, bought the seed industry in this country to uh, engineer resistance to their weed killers. Um, and uh, so, for instance, Roundup Ready soybean, Roundup Ready corn, it's 80% of genetic engineered crops are doused with high levels of Roundup Ready. Uh, and um, we do not have the right to opt out, basically, of this experiment on the, on the American public of eating these genetically engineered foods, which have not been tested. Um, of course, the opposition <laughs> says that there's no evidence that um, genetically modified organisms have any different effect on the human body. Right. And, and you know, and they can say that, um, and, but it's not really up to them to make the decision whether, you know, what, what kind of food we eat and what we feed our children. Um, you know, we, we have the right to know if orange juice is from concentrate or not. You know, I mean, we have a fundamental right to know. I mean, regardless of the opinions on the merits or lack thereof of genetic engineering, we have the right to know.